Come on in guys, welcome to the Alpine. Our cabin in the city. And you walk in and you have like the grand living room, which had a beautiful popcorn ceiling before. So we decided, nope, can't be. We have the tongue and groove all over and then added more wood texture to the fireplace. You have the, you have the lock, uh, the locks on the sides and you have a lot of different wood textures which I like most we want the cabin feeling we have original hardwood floors and then we just spruced it up with some more modern furniture to have the combination of the rustic charm and the contemporary furniture and we also put our logo and name the Alpine here on this focal wall um, together with our deer head <laughs> which came out really nice but let's go into the dining room which is one of my favorite um, rooms in the whole house um, I was first a little hesitant to paint it all black, but I now I love it and we have this custom-made um, Benches and a big table So you can fit at least eight people here on the dining table and just have the uh, Hütten feeling we would say in German, you know, if you go to the Alps um, And I wanted this to be reflected in the dining room and I think it came out nice. You got the fancy chandelier we got all those pictures here from um, antique stores, the, the paintings, the oil paintings. And I think the whole vibe is really just comfy, cozy, have a nice meal with family and friends, you know, sit down, have a conversation and just have this cozy vibe all around you. And then we got our kitchen right here. Um, it was small, but we, we couldn't change the floor plan because I didn't want it to knock out the wall to the dining room to keep the, the coziness of the dining room. And we got our green kitchen here with our brass hardware, some floating shelves, which just show glasses and, and um, cups. And it has everything you need. We got different variations of coffee makers. We got the crock pot, um, we got a blender. So all the features, everything you need to prepare a meal or to just make coffee. And I think it's, it's good enough, you know, it's fine. Turned out well. But let's head over to another special feature here of the house, which is a game room, right? We always want to add something special to our homes. So we had an additional room here and we put in a breakfast nook to just seat additional people. And you can play your board games here. Then you have a smart TV. There's a game console for some vintage um, Sega videos. You got your foosball table and uh, a big four by four on the wall. So bring your kiddos, bring your teenagers, you know, and they will have fun just playing some video games here. And we also have, again, the, the cozy cabin feeling with the, uh, um, the wooden outline here on the wall. And those are, again, simple, easy design features that won't break the bank, but it still, you know, makes a whole different feeling here in the room. But let's go, I wanna show you our first we have a big bedroom here on the main, which can sleep four people. We do a little stop here on our fully renovated bathroom with a walk-in shower. And uh, we put in a really nice vanity here. Went with some like dark blue uh, tiles, which I think turned out really nice. And again, I like all the wooden features. We got the, um, like a board and batten type style here on the walls and then all our other wooden pieces. And again, it's very comfy, cozy. The brass mirrors give a little bling. And let's go to the uh, first bedroom. Got your laundry right here. And then we have our um, first bedroom with two queen beds so we can sleep four people. We just went with the green on the walls here as on the focal walls to just give the cabin vibe, you know, woods, even so it's, there's a lot of green around the house. We also wanted to do it reflected here. Then the mountains are calling, you know, but you are right in the city. And I think the green, it's very calming. It's very soothing. I like the combination of the wood. We have our fur throw blankets here. Um, and I really, really like how this room turned out with pictures and everything, the combination of the table lamps with the brass. Again, it's warm, but it's a little luxury. And I like the combination. 
and I hope you like it too. But uh, there is more to see, so let's head on upstairs where we have two more bedrooms, two more bathrooms, and also uh, like a special, like a flex room, I would say. Um, we initially wanted it to be a bedroom, but there is no AC, there's no heating, there's no vent because of the style of the house since you have the roof just right above it. We couldn't do that. But look at the living room. Amazing. And again, it's, it's room for eight to ten people here. So far we can sleep nine, but we can, if you wanted to add it up, we can add two more people. Um, a smaller bedroom right here where we have a queen and the twins are perfect for maybe a family or three kiddos. Also got a small closet here. We got TV in all our bedrooms to just give everybody their option to, you know, have a little retreat, watch their favorite Netflix series. And um, yeah, bedroom number one upstairs. Let's peek into the bathrooms. This was one large bathroom before and we divided it to make two smaller bathrooms out of it to accommodate more people. And still it's a good size. You got everything you need. You got your top um, shower top combo, got your vanity, our uh, custom made vanities from uh, the Life Edge Butcher Blocks, which turned out really nice. Um, we got those nice shelves here, so I don't need uh, any other like wall shelves. This works great. And then let's check out our flex room back here. Again, wall morals, such an easy way and also cost effective way to add a stunning um, design feature to your home. And this is our flex room. Uh, we just put a day bed in here. I, I think it's more for a kids play area. You can do some yoga if you wanted to. Um, there's a play tent. We got a little play table with some um, crayons and some coloring books and just fun little place also again for kids to hang out or for the adults who want to um, maybe do some yoga uh, in the morning. So lots of options here with this um, flex room and again we did like the mountain outline here on the wall. Very simple to do but I think looks really nice. All right, we got one more bathroom coming up here. Similar layout than the other one. We all have the wallpaper on one wall and then the shiplap in combination with um, some wooden textures. And again, it's just a cozy, warm atmosphere. And since you have up to nine people here in the house, it's nice to have two bedrooms upstairs. And now we have the master suite, which is for me like the highlight of the whole house. So come on in. I did those wall panels for the first time and really love how they turned out. It's such a, a modern look, but still a cozy feeling with the wooden textures. And since the room was pretty big, we had room for a nice king size bed. We have a small um, sitting area where you can have some morning coffee if you wanted to. So it's perfect uh, for a couple of couples retreat. And then we also had room where I wanted the, um, like an electric fireplace. So we just put the fireplace underneath the TV. So you can watch your favorite Netflix series, Hulu, whatever you're into. Um, turn on the fireplace, turn on the heat in the winter. It should get a little cold. And then you also have um, a desk area here. If you need to work, you bring your laptop you can just close the door, right? You can have the family downstairs and you can sit here and maybe do some work if, if needed. But otherwise, it's just a great place to have a good night's sleep. We all have the uh, memory foam, like high-end mattresses, nice linen. Got those fancy um, swivel wall lamps here. And um, again, it's just a great place to, to hang out. So perfect house to enjoy time in the city but still get the mountain feeling and have the, the whole cabin feeling um but wait there is more we haven't seen the back deck and the backyard so let's head on downstairs